outside the box reviews, we're taking a look at the Bandai Tamashi Nations. Effect explosion sets, both the red version and the gray version. This is something coming from Bandai Tamashi Nations that isn't a monster arts piece, isn't a figure arts piece. It is a general effects piece that you could use with pretty much any of your action figures. And just as the name implies, we basically get three different shapes with each color. We have the, what's called the red version, but it's more of a fiery orange, and the gray version, which is more smoky looking. So let's take a closer look at these pieces. Now, no matter which version you get, you get the same three pieces in each. Here we have what's called piece one. They're all just basically different takes on the same idea of an explosion. They have the kind of sharp, spiky areas sticking out, the more cloudy pieces coming out, and they're very, very cool looking. Now, if we turn them around to the back, we can see they actually are hollow inside. And then on the bottom, we actually have peg ports. And this piece one is unique because it has a peg port on the inside as well. That port is designed for the Tamashi Act 4 stand. So we can take our standard arm we get with a lot of our figures and it will peg right in there and you can use that to support the piece. Or we can come to the bottom and here we have three different ports, two small ones that will fit the standard end of the Act 4 stand that we're used to, and then a larger port that fits the opposite end of that stand. Now this is usually the piece that goes into the display base. So I'm a little not sure how we would want to use this piece. My biggest guess would be that we could use this to interconnect two different pieces so we could have the one explosion effect there and then come over and use the skinnier end to peg into another piece and then somehow utilize that with different combinations of the stands pegging in different places to create a very unique chain of explosions and effects. It's really up to you and your imagination how you make these work but to me it's very interesting that they accommodated both ends of the Act 4 stand on the bases of these. Piece 2, similar idea, different little sculpt to it, still very cool looking. Also hollow on the inside with the ports on the bottom. No port on the inside though. And then number three is a little more directional. Most of the coming off pieces are going to the right here as opposed to just kind of going every direction. We get more of a plume. I like the shape of this one and it kind of has that one spike coming off the back. Once again, nothing on the inside, ports on the bottom. Now the great part with the red version is that we can light them from behind and we get a really, really cool effect with the translucence there. My biggest gripe, I don't even know if it's coming off on camera, is that the number three is stamped in there and then when we apply light to it, you can actually see the three coming through or any of the numbers on any of these. But beyond that, the lighting in there works really well, really makes it glow and look fiery. The gray version really doesn't let a whole lot of light through, which is a bit of a bummer. But there are areas you can see kind of right up here by my thumb, you can see the light passing through it. And those areas look so cool, I almost wish the paint was thinner and more areas on this piece because it doesn't really let the light transmit through, but where it does, does just looks phenomenal and it really reminds me of a thunderstorm where you see the lightning flashing up inside the cloud or something. I think this is just an amazing effect and I really wish the paint was just a bit thinner in other places to allow that to really shine through. Another detail to point out is the difference in the paints here between the red explosion effect and the explosion effect we got with the second SH Monster Arts effects kit. This would go on the end of Godzilla's Atomic Ray. And you can see this is a much darker darker fiery red as opposed to the explosion which is a little more almost airy looking. So there is a big difference between these two but I still feel like they work side by side. The sculpt is similar enough that if you had these in the same display together they're not going to look like two completely different effects. They're just going to have a bit of a color variance. Now of course there are a myriad of ways to use these effect parts. For me the first thing that came to mind was to use them with Godzilla. So we have the red explosion effects coming out of his atomic breath as he tries to shoot down the planes. And one cool thing I found for lighting is if you go to Walgreens or party stores, you can get these little cheapo finger lights, red LEDs, they actually come in a pack of red, blue, and green, and they just have a simple switch. You could turn them on, and then if you slide them inside of the effect parts, and I think I just totally messed it up there and dropped it, but we can create some really cool glowing effects out of these clouds that look pretty darn good. Of course, this is me being a little sloppy trying to do it on camera, but you really can achieve a really cool look with these if you're patient and take the time. And here is a quick idea with the smoke effects of Indiana Jones running away from some kind of explosion as he is wont to do. And yeah, I know none of these pictures 
characters are particularly great or articulated comic book art worthy or anything like that. Just quick ideas I wanted to throw together to show off different potential for these effects. Or maybe you could try to recreate the scene where Dutch shoots the explosive arrow at the Predator and kind of makes an explosion next to him. And honestly, with effects pieces like these, the only real limit is your imagination, what you want to create with them. And I really like them. My only real gripe with these pieces is that the pictures online were a little misleading. The stack that they show you can make that I showed off in the very beginning of the video with the two on the bottom and one up top. I was led to believe from those pictures that these pieces could do that on their own, that they were designed to kind of interlock the spikes on them and you could do that as a freestanding piece. The fact that you need an Act 4 stand and that it does not come with one kind of disappointed me because it adds a much more complex setup to this than I think it would have been if they were able to hook together. But beyond that, I've only had these a couple days and I've had so much fun playing around with them. I know I'm going to continue to enjoy messing with these and I think they're really, really fun to have. Now, a lot of collectors probably aren't gonna go with these. If you just get the figures and you enjoy the figures on their own, there's no reason to have them. But if you like doing articulated comic book art, if you like just doing pictures or dynamic displays with your figures, these are fantastic. They add a really cool extra level to what you're doing. They're fairly inexpensive expensive and look really great. Personally, I think if I was just going to buy one of these sets, I would go with the red version. The translucence effect to them makes them a lot more versatile. And quite honestly, I feel like the gray versions at times are a little muddled as to what they are. When you have them in shots, you kind of have to be careful and position them correctly so that it actually looks like smoke as opposed to just looking like these weird amorphous blobs. But the fiery red ones really have a cool look to them when you position them right. So they do get a strong recommend for both, but definitely a higher recommend for the red. And if you want to see me using these more in probably better ways than I have in this video, make sure you check me out on Instagram, username outside the box reviews. I know I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures of them there. And also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, so they're outside the box reviews, stay tuned for more to come.